to Anto Luvanda, inspirational speaker and the entrepreneur. Tanzania, Tanzania, na kupenda kwa moyo wote. Nchi yangu Tanzania, jina lako ni tamu sana. Kwanza kusoma tangu darasa la kwanza mpaka darasa la chuo kikuu unachofanyiwa unaandaliwa ukauze labor power yako Sasa kamoto inakuja ni kwamba hiyo ajira haipo unafanyaje Tangu ilipovumbuliwa sana teknolojia ina tabia ya kuwaondoa binadamu kwenye soko la ajira kwa hiyo inavyozidi kuja science ndivyo ambavyo soko la ajira linazilipanwa. Kazi ambayo walikuwa wanafanya watu watano ikija science ikiingilia kati hapo wanafanya mtu mmoja tu. Mbuni akiwa anaogopa anachofanya anachimba kichwa anafukia alafu mwili wake mkubwa wote ubaki nje na anaamini kwamba mtu anayemuona. If we don't want to think beyond the promise to be like us. I want to share with you this perspective of business creation. The perspective to think beyond employment. Why do you need to think beyond employment? It's very imperative, especially for Tanzanians, specifically for the graduates, to know that they need to think beyond employment. Why? Because we are prepared to become employees. Unapoanza kusoma tangu darasa la kwanza mpaka darasa la chuo kikuu unachofanyiwa unaandaliwa ukauze labor power yako. Sasa changamoto inakuja ni kwamba hiyo ajira haipo unafanyaje? Ni sawa sawa unaenda kiwanja cha ndege alafu unasubiri boti ya kwenda Zanzibar. Hivi utafika hiyo boti. Huko <laughs> pale Dar es Salaam International Airport, ndugu inaenda wapi? Naelekea Zanzibar. Kwa hiyo Zanzibar sasa eh nasubiri boti ya saa nane. Anasema sasa em naomba security, naomba huyu ndugu apeleke kumwimbili pale chuo cha psychiatric akachunguzwe akili. I'm not sharing this information to scare you. But I'm sharing this information for you to get prepared. As Joel said, we need to get the right information. We need to get the timely information. And the moment that you need to understand is you need to prepare right now ukiwa hapa bado chuoni. Usisubiri mpaka umemaliza it will be too late. And that's why I said you need to congratulate yourself for being here because as people wanaendelea kukazana na madesa kwenye view huko kwenye vyumba anachangamka asome afaulu kumbe kazi zenyewe hazipo na we huko hapa you are of more advantages kuliko wao naomba ujipige magofu kwa mara ya pili me i'm telling you kuna watu wako airport wanasubiri boti ya kwenda zanzibar ndio wao walioko huko mtakutana mtaani because i'm telling you from today onwards you will think differently from the rest of the people you will no longer think like ordinary person why because your mind has been transformed so why would you, you need to think beyond employment number one is kuongezeka kwa graduates wasomi wameongezeka kuliko na wafikiria takwimu zinatuambia zaidi ya watu 1.6 million wana graduate every year lakini wanaochukuliwa kwenye soko la ajira they are less than 200,000 less than 200,000 Umewahi kufikiria 1.4 wanaenda wapi? Sisi ni wasomi, let's think together. The output is 1.6. The intake is one is less than 
na hao ni kwa mwaka jua kuna wale wa mwaka jana na wenyewe wanakuja hivyo hivyo wanapakuliwa zamani vyo vilikuwa vichache nyinyi ni mashahidi wauliza kina mama hapa waliokaa historia kidogo inawezekana watoto wasikuizi atujui historia vizuri lakini ukisoma vitabu utagundua nchi hii ilikuwa na vyo sivi tatu sivi nne tulikuwa na chukucha Dar es Salaam tulikuwa na chuo cha mzumbe pale cha utumishi na hiki cha sua kwa ajili ya kilimo lakini sasa hivi sasa hivi tuna vyo vingi mpaka wanasema chuo hiki kinachotambuliwa na serikali maana kwa vipo vingine hata vitambuliwa na serikali. Viko vingi. <laughs> Tulienda Mwanza, kuna chuo kinaitwa Sauti. Ni kijiji, sio chuo kijiji. Ndani ya campus inabidi usafiri kwa basi. <laughs> Nenda Yudo. Kutoka campus moja kwenda nyingine inabidi mpande basi. Na, ni kijiji. Wanatapikwa kila siku. Sasa hauko peke yako. Unapograduate jua kabisa kwamba wewe degree yako is no longer special. Wazazi wetu wakati wana graduate hata kabla hajamaliza au amefaulu hajafaulu ulishafika mwaka wakatatu umefika eh hey, tunakutaka wewe mwandishi wa idara unachukuliwa mwandishi wa chache. Lakini jambo la pili ambalo limesababisha tukose ajira zipungue ni utandawazi. Hebu sema utandawazi. Globalization. Now globalization simply means freedom free movement of people and goods and services Manake ni kwamba kazi leo inapotangazwa hauajiriwi peke yako kama ni mtaalamu wa kilimo usije ukafikiri hiyo kazi utapewa wewe peke yako you will be competing na watu ambao wamesoma chuo kikuu cha Israel cha agriculture waliotoka Jomo Kenyatta waliotoka Kam- Kampala University <laughs> sikuna kitu kinaitwa East African Community au mjakiwa kipo manake wa Kenya wanaruhusiwa kuja hapa Tanzania lakini pia na wewe unaruhusiwa kwenda Kenya kutafuta kazi lakini tunajijua wa Tanzania wenyewe tunajijua mambo yetu tunajijua inapofika swala la kwenda nchi za nje tunajijua especially kwenda kutafuta kazi wewe utoke hapa za hapa tu zimekushinda uende Kenya ukatafute kazi <laughs> Why because our competence pia ni ya mashaka mashaka kidogo. Kuna kitu kinaitwa kudesa, siyo kama huko kipo. Tuna photocopy sana. Yaani alichokiandika mwenzako unaangalia naona copy, ukwenda library ukusoma hakuna deep research. Hivyo hivyo mbandika bandua pa 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 research imetoka. Na waoviambia mimi nilipokuwa chuo kikuu cha Dar es Salaam I remember tulikuwa na kitu kinaitwa take home assignment. Mnafahamu nenye mnakuaga nazo hapo. Tuliandika take home assignment mimi nikafanya ya kwangu. Sasa mwenzangu alikuwa anapenda sana mambo ya kujirusha. Nimemaliza muda wa kusubmit umefika. Aka ikabidi achukue ya kwangu a copy. Aka copy kila kitu mpaka nuku takasoro jina na registration number. Sasa tukua darasa moja. Tulipoenda tukakusanya wakati majibu yanatoka mimi nimepata 6.5 ya 15, mwenzangu akapata 8.5 ya 15. Desa lile lile sasa nikaona hapa hata na mwalimu naye ana shida. <laughs> <laughs> Lakini sasa uwezi kwenda complain maana aliyetoa desa na aliyechukua desa wote mna makosa, si ndio? So what I'm trying to say is our level the level of competence again is low. Kwa tunaposema wewe ni mtaalamu wa kilimo, je, unajua kweli kilimo unakifahamu? Au tukimchukua mkulima aliyelima kwa miaka nane ndio kwa kuchukua wewe mtaalamu wa kilimo inabidi mkulima akufundishe wewe badala wewe kumfundishwa na mkulima. Hello? Eh hey, huko mtaani tunasikia habari zetu, tunazijua wenyewe. Chukua mtaalamu wa kilimo mpeleke kijijini. Wakulima wanamfundisha mtaalamu. Sasa ha mtaalamu sasa ni sawa umesoma degree ila hii mbegu huwa tunapanda hivi. Ah okay. Maana sasa desa lenye saliba. Samani lakini msiye mkanizuia gari yangu isitoke hapo. But what I'm trying to say There are these are factors which have contributed for us to stay out of the market. Another reason why we need to think beyond employment ni kwa sababu ya ongezeko la science and technology. Science and technology. Science and technology since the inception tangu ilipovumbuliwa science and technology ina tabia ya kuwaondoa binadamu kwenye soko la ajira. Kwa hiyo inavyozidi kuja science ndivyo ambavyo soko la ajira linazidi kubanwa. 
kazi ambayo walikuwa wanafanya watu watano ikija science ikiingilia kati hapo wanafanya mtu mmoja tu na science is here my friend hello hivi mnakumbuka wakati ATM machine zinaletwa Tanzania mani ilikuwa benki ikifungwa mdogo wangu imefungwa kweli yani uweze kutoa hela mpaka kesho hiyo tulikuwa na vitu vingi vya vitabu vya benki kawauliza kina mama watakwambia vitabu vya benki sasa hivi mna kadi zamani ilikuwa inaitwa kitabu cha benki kwa hiyo ukitaka kwenda kuchukua hela inabidi upange mstari umuone tela aje konge muhuri ndio kweli umechukua hela kuandikie pale una sign zilivyokuja ATM benki hiyo imefungwa hajafungwa unaweza kutoa hela zako hata saa ya usiku kaunta zikaanza kuwa tupu kwa nini kwa sababu sasa tumehitaji tela wakawa tu tela ni wakupokea hela na kwa sababu teknolojia inakuwa haraka kilichotokea ni kwamba zikaja ATM ambazo unaweza ukaweka na kutoa hela kwa wale ambao walikuwa wamesalia salia wa collect money bado wakawa tena kwenye trouble let me tell you now we have something known as smart technology hivi unajua unaweza ukalipa bili dawasko kule dawasko tunaita dawasko huko mnahitaji eh muasa unajua unaweza ukalipa bili muasa kwenye simu yako unafahamu hiyo kwa ku press tu kipata pa 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 umelipa bili ya dawasko muasa umelipa umelipa bili ya DSTV umelipa kila kitu umemaliza kwenye simu yako umenunua umeme umewahi kufikiria kibarua chekeshia wa muasa ndio kimekwenda hivyo tukuajiri tuku liweje wakati watu wanaweza kulipa kwenye simu tatafuta wakati ya kufagia kama itakuwa hello kwa hiyo tunajikuta kwamba tunalazimishwa na sasa teknolojia ku think beyond kwa sababu inakuja na nakwambia haijalishi tutafanya maandamano kiasi gani teknolojia itaendelea kuja tu <laughs> na sasa hivi kuna vitu vinavyoitwa smart technology msema smart technology Everything is smart now. Kwa kuna smart cars. Kuna magari ambayo hayahitaji kuwa na dereva. Linaenda lenyewe, lenyewe na linajua linakuelekea. Kama unabisha Google sasa hivi, lipo. Ila tunaomba lisije Tanzania, maana likija Tanzania litapotea. Kabisa. Hii mita yetu tunaijua wenyewe. Kule wenzetu wameconnect na GPS, kwa linajua nyema mahali pa kupita. Sasa assume nilikuwa kule NIT nikamwambia wala unasomea udereva nikamwambia unasoma udereva afu linakuja gari halihitaji dereva umewahi kufikiria ajira yako iko wapi tunavoongea hivi kule Japan na nchi za Asia wameanza sasa kutumia ma robot kwenye migahawa robot kwenye migahawa haukutani na waiter unakutana na robot una press order yako tena ikiwezekana una download app una oda chakula ukiwa nyumbani ukifika hotelini kimeshakuwa tayari kama unabisha google hatuna muda ningekupitisha mifano baada mmoja baada mwingine sasa unajua ngoja niwaambieni the driving force mode of production of this economy of today is called capitalism and the essence of capitalism is to maximize profit so me as a capitalist I will find it far productive and far profitable to deploy a robot rather than a human being. Utafiti umeonyesha hivyo. Why? Because robot hachoki. Robot hachelewi kazini maana analala hapo hapo. Robot hapati ujauzito kwa hitaji maternity leave. Robot hana attitude yetu kwamba amegombana na mewaka aje alete attitude kwa wateja. Hamna hicho kitu. Yeye ni kinatabasamu tu na kupiga kinachojua ni kitu kimoja tu hapa kazi tu pa, 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 pa. kako vipi na akadai nyongeza ya mshahara ka robot maskini ya Mungu akana mgomo eti leo akana hiyo kenye kinachojua ni kazi tu kwa mimi kama bepari naona kwa nini ni kuajiri wewe utaniletea matatizo tu oh mara sijui haki za binadamu mara sijui sheria ya leba sijui ya nini nyongeza ya mshahara kila mwaka utaniletea matatizo naomba tusigombane mimi nitaleta robot na nawaambia kama mnabisha hata Tanzania maroboti yako mengi number one, nimeshakwambia ATM number two, ni simu iliyoshika it can do a lot of things zipo through smart technology zipo nyingi tu sasa hivi hadi madaktari 
ambao tulikuwa tunafikiria kwamba ndio wanahitajika sana. Sasa hivi kuna teknolojia ya kumfanya daktari akafanya operation kutumia robot. Ushai kwenda chumba cha operation au kukiangalia tu kwenye picha. Mtu mmoja ana operatiwa ana kama daktari kama sita saba hivi. Mwingine ana kazi ni kuleta mikasi tu, analeta huko anasogeza. Nete namba 4 hapa. Hivyo tu. Sasa kuna robot amekuja. You don't need six or seven doctors to operate one person. You just need one doctor to supervise the robot. Hello? Sasa unaweza kusema Luvanda hayo mambo ya wazungu. Ngoja nikwambie Rwanda hapo, Rwanda. Unapajua Rwanda? Kanchi kadogo kako jirani hapo. Sasa hivi kupeleka kifurushi cha damu kutoka sehemu moja kwenda nyingine wanatumia vitu vinavyoitwa drones. Unafahamu drones? Vindege vidogo dogo vinaendeshwa kwa remote. <laughs> kwa hiyo hapo deliver wa ambulance usubiri tu kupeleka wagonjwa. Mambo ya kujifanya unapeleka damu unarudi tena sasa umefanya nini? Hamna. Ni robot inafanya hivyo. Na robot is very precise. Hamna siji nilipata pancha mzee nilipita kula. Hamna. Timely. Kwa hiyo the challenge is coming. The challenge is here. If you don't think beyond employment my friend, na tuko kwenye 2017. Ni sawasawa na mnyama anaitwa ostrich. Kiswahili chake tunasemaje? Mbuni. Mbuni akiwa anaogopa anachofanya anachimba kichwa anafukia alafu mwili wake mkubwa wote umbaki nje na anaamini kwamba mna mtu anayemuona if we don't want to think beyond employment we'll be like ostrich so you need to think now na nakwambia nyinyi ni mashahidi mnapokutoka hapa mnafahamu kuna wazazi wenu kuna wadogo zenu na dada zenu na kaka zenu wako nyumbani bado hawajaajiriwa kuna mtu anakaa mwaka wa kwanza mwaka wa pili mwaka wa tatu hawajaajiriwa na ukikaa usije ukafikiri viewer havi graduateishi vina graduateisha 1.6 million every year wanapakuliwa wanapakuliwa tuombe Mungu hii sera ya viwanda ifanye kazi labda na hapo tutaishia tu kupata kazi za kufagia mimi nakwambia sababu teknolojia yenyewe uliyosomea kuna rafiki yangu mmoja amesoma chuo cha tekniko kule Moshi alichokisoma kwanza vitabu vinyewe vimeandikwa miaka ya 80 anasoma alafu anakuta ana graduate mambo yamebadilika kabisa alichokisoma sicho kanachokutana nacho mtaani anasema kuna gari zinakuja anakwambia mtu nikikanyaga brake indicate na waka yani arashiro sasa hii kule sikusomea yeye amesoma mechanical gari ni ya umeme si unafahamu kama kuna magari yanakuja saizi ni more electronic kuliko mechanic tunafanyaje sasa hapo ndio maana George alimsema after two years the knowledge that you have is obsolete so because of time i want to help you i'm not here to scare you i'm just here to open up your mind what can you do muuliza jirani yako what are we going to do hata kama hajakujibu wewe muuliza tu ndugu yangu tunao tunafanyaje sasa cha kwanza unachotakiwa kufanya ndio hicho nimekwambia you need just to think beyond don't be configured Don't be configured in one area. Usifikirie kwenye eneo moja tu. Fikiri beyond ya ajira. Najua miaka yote uliyosoma 16 17 umeandaliwa kuajiriwa. Lakini naomba ujiandae kujiajiri na kuajiri wengine. The best area that can help us is the business area. We need to think and start develop ourselves as entrepreneurs. Because what entrepreneurs do, they create the environment they want. Wajasiri amali wanachokifanya, wanatengeneza mazingira wanayoyataka. Kwa hiyo lazima tuanze sasa. Sasa watu wengi nimekwambia, tunapoanza kuambia kwamba anza kufanya biashara, anza kujiandaa kama mwajiriwa, mjiajiri, anza kutafuta biashara yako mwenyewe. Wanza kusema hatuna mtaji, hatuna hiki, hatuna kile. Anaanza kuangalia vitu gani ambavyo hana. Lakini misafu inatufundisha kwamba siku zote Mwenyezi Mungu akimtokea mtu anamuuliza una nini mkononi mwako. So ask yourself what do you have in your hand? That's number one. Some of you maybe you have knowledge. You love to trade your knowledge. You can be a consultant. Just sharing your knowledge Usisubiri paka wakutafute mtaalamu wa kilimo aliye 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 toka chuo kikuu. Unaweza ukaenda 
pale kijijini ukaanza kutoa ushauri bure hebu sema bure sasa hiyo kwa wasomi ni ngumu lakini anza bure kujitolea hicho kitu kinaitwa branding bure mimi kazi ya kwanza ya kufanya ilikuwa ni bure hebu sema bure bure nilianza kazi ya kujitolea kutangaza redioni bure for three years they don't pay me wengine wanaandamana boom walitoshi mimi nachukua boom lile lile nalipia nauli kwenda kwenye kazi ambayo silipwi Lakini let me tell you baada ya kuvolunteer kwa miaka mitatu siku namaliza chuo nikasema sasa nina muda wa kutosha nikaenda kuwa, kuomba kazi benki wakaniuliza unafanya kazi gani what is your job experience nikamwambia sir i'm a radio presenter and in that field walikuwa wanamtaka mtu ambaye ana communication skills and being a radio presenter <laughs> you have communication skills hello si you mnaona sasa hapo wasomi sasa wasomi ukiwaambia kaji tu unalipa shilingi ngapi sasa uelewi kama mimi ni mtaalamu wa kilimo tunajua wewe ni mtaalamu hiyo that we know but show us first so i volunteer na ile kazi moja ya maswali magumu jo wale walioniuliza tu kulipe shilingi ngapi mimi nimezoea kufanya kazi bure kumbuka. Kujitolea tu. Shingapi? Lile swali limepigwa, pressure ilishuka, alafu ikapanda, nikamwambia naomba niende msalani. Nikatoka. Katika ya interview nikaenda. Nikaenda msalani. Mungu ndio nasema shingapi sasa. Bahati nzuri wakati narudi tena kwenye interview, nikakutana na kijana pale, nikamuuliza hivi hapa wanalipa shingapi? Akaniambia una, una apply kazi gani? Kaniambia marketing. Akasema hiyo ndio naanza eh. Hey hiyo kuanzia laki sita mpaka milioni moja. Alivyosema milioni moja kidogo moyo utokee huko. Maana sijazoea, milioni moja kubwa. Nikafika kwenye interview, nikabidi niseme ile ya chini kabisa. Mimi nipeni laki sita. Maana alivyokuwa chooni akili ilikuja laki mbili. Ikizitaza laki tatu. <laughs> yani na ndio hiyo tulikuwa tunalipwa kwenye boom. Boom si ilikuwa laki moja na ishini kwa miezi mitatu. Kwa hiyo nikasema five I double ikipika laki mbili hapa angalau leo bwana kanipandishia bench akasema kuanzia 600 like paka milioni hiyo milioni nyingi sana wanaweza silipe kazi nipeni 600 like wale jamaa wa interview wakanionea huruma offer letter ilikokuja wakanipa 600 like na 20 nikasema ah basi zilikuwa nyingi lakini nilichokifanya sikuacha kazi yangu ya kujitolea kwa sababu katika skills ambazo Joel ameshare ni branding building skills kwa hiyo kazi ya redio ilikuwa inanisaidia kutengeneza kitu kinachoitwa branding kwa hiyo nilipokuwa nasikika zaidi redioni nikienda kipaji kingine nilichokuwa nacho ni cha kuongea mbele za watu especially katika eneo la OMC ku manage shughuli za watu. Kwa hiyo nikienda kwenye sherehe nasema wewe ndio Ruvana ninakusikia kwenye redio nasema eh ndio mimi ah basi wewe naomba ufanye na ya mdogo wangu na ya nani maana watu wanapenda watu maarufu sio? Ne angekuja diamond hapa nakwambia viti vingetolewa hivi yote watu wangeja. Kwa sababu we love to celebrate celebrities that's why they called celebrities we celebrate them. Kwa hiyo nikawa nafanya kazi tatu. Asubuhi naenda benki. Kumbuka nimesoma political science. Ndio haya nawaambia ni life is more than academics. Naenda benki asubuhi. Nafanya kazi masaa nane. Baada ya hapo nikitoka naenda redio. Kazi ya kujitolea masaa mawili. Nikitoka hapo naenda kwenye OMC. Naenda kulala saa nane, saa saba lakini baada ya miaka minne after four years of personal development working hard persistence vitu vyote vile i managed to retire and start my own company so what i'm sharing with you is not a theory i'm sharing with you something that has worked for me and i believe something this can work for you because success leaves crew if you follow what successful you have done you can end up with the same results wewe unayesema unataka kuwa big entrepreneur leo mtafute entrepreneur ambaye unamwa appreciate find a time with him get his wisdom if you cannot find his time he's very busy read his material read his books kama hawajaandika kitabu sio peke yake wako ma entrepreneur wengi duniani wasomi hata wa marekani kwa sababu changamoto leo nayo ma entrepreneur wengi wa bongo hatuna literature zao na ndio maana umeona mifano karibu 70% aliyoitoa Joel ni ya watu wa Marekani kwa sababu wale wenzetu wana document sana. Kwa kama huwezi kupata muda fanya. Mimi nawaambia hivi wataalamu wa, wa kilimo. Najua wengi hapa mnafanya utaalamu wa kilimo. 
Nendeni ukimaliza chuo usiende kama mtaalamu wa kilimo kijijini kule. Nenda kama mtu ambaye ni volunteer na unataka kujifunza kilimo. You be surprised how much you can learn. Ukikombani elimu ya darasani na elimu ya mtaani, you become bigger. Hello? You become so competent to the extent they cannot ignore you. You have a practical and theoretical perspective. Once you combine them two, you become an explosion. Na nakwambia umaskini katika nchi na duniani kwa ujumla sio kwa sababu ya umaskini tu, ni kwa sababu hakuna mtu anayejua chochote juu yako. You are poor because nobody is knowing anything about you. That's where we get the difference. Hello? You are not poor because your parents are poor. No, 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 no. Don't get that misconception. I'll give you an example. Tukimtaja Diamond Platinums. Kitu gani kinakuja kwenye akili yako? Eh? Music. Tukimtaja Mbwana Samata. Kitu gani kinakuja kwenye akili yako? Football. Tukimtaja Floyd Mayweather. Kitu gani kinakuja kwenye akili yako? Boxing. Tukimtaja yule aliyetajwa na golf Tiger Woods kitu gani kinakuja kwenye akili yako naomba unisaidie kumuuliza jirani yako tukikutaja wewe ndugu yangu hapa sua kitu gani kinakuja kwenye akili zetu <laughs> amekujibu sasa hilo jibu ukaenda alo mwenyewe mtaja hili nyewe wawili so <laughs> hello You need to become so competent to the extent that they cannot ignore you. Lazima uwe competent kwenye hilo eneo. Yaani kama ni mtaalamu wa kilimo, uwe mtaalamu kiasi ambacho wakitafuta mtaalamu katika top 5 na wewe ukosekani. Na nakwambia inawezekana, hebu mwambie jana inawezekana. Inawezekana tu, lazima. Tatizo ni kwamba we don't put we don't put hard work enough hatuweki nguvu ya kutosha tunagusagusa tu yani sasa mtaalamu wa kilimo hujulikani kwenye, kwenye social media nikienda kwenye page yako Instagram sijui kama ni mtaalamu wa kilimo naona umepost diamond umepost mazishi ya bibi yako mara si umepost nini hatujui hata kitu kimoja unachokifanya hatujui samani lakini mimi niko kwa ajili ya kuwasaidia hello i have two pages if you go to my page you screw one picture the second picture you know exactly what i'm doing you must become competent. Hebu sema let's be competent. Na competence inakuwa developed like what we are here now. Classes like this. I have a YouTube channel inaitwa Tony Inspirational Talk. I recommend you guys you subscribe to that channel. Imagine labda niwaulize tu swali. Wangapi hapa Able to, to, let's take the imagination if every day before you start a day tunakuwa na seminar kama hii alafu ndo unaanza siku yako unaingia darasa na mambo mengine siku yako ingekuaje powerful sio but you know you can create that environment every day by subscribing to youtube channel ambayo ni totonis kwa sababu kule kuna vitu vingi nimewapa i have a website inaitwa toninspirationtalk.com at least every day i write one or two articles sasa mimi ili kukupa article ambayo unatakiwa kuisoma dakika tano, mimi inabidi nisome vitabu kama kumi au saba. I spend more time reading just for you to have a 5 minutes page to read quickly and start your day. Joeli kuna kitabu ameandika kinaitwa Timiza Malengo. Ameandika malengo sitini, mbinu sitini za kutimiza malengo. Yeye amesoma tafiti mbalimbali. Umetumia miaka mingapi Joeli? Three years writing the single book. You can finish that book within one week if you're serious and hungry enough. So, from today onwards, develop yourself, become competent, competent, competent. Improve yourself every day. Make sure you improve yourself. You become better. Kama ni mfanya biashara, you become so competent kiasi ambacho wakitafuta pochi nzuri sua, wakutafute wewe sasa. Unajua kuna watu wengine mnauza vitu vingi sasa hamjulikani mnauza kitu gani. Kuna kitu kinaitwa finding your niche. Niko namwambia ndugu yangu Joel, tafuta kitu kimoja au viwili tu vya kuuza. Wewe unauza viatu tu, viatu. Sasa mwingine unajua kuna ndugu zangu wachaga mpo hapa na wakinga. 
Kiingia duka la mkinga unaweza kachoka. Anauza simenti, anauza vocha, anauza mandazi, anauza mikate, anauza stationery. Sasa hujui anauza nini kama supermarket fulani. Tafuta kitu kimoja ambacho hata atakujulia kwacho. Hello? Wa Tanzania inawezekana we can become tunaagiza wataalamu kutoka Kenya, kutoka Rwanda, si kutoka wapi? Kumbe sisi wenyewe tukiamua leo hii we can become competent and we can solve our problems. Na nakwambia katika kitu moja wapo ambacho nimekiongea kwenye ile DVD, katika kitu moja wapo kitakachokusaidia kupata wazo la biashara ni kutafuta matatizo yanayokuzunguka. Hello? Poor people when they see problems they complain. When you complain there are two things happen. You expect another person to fix the problem for you. But also when you complain you give power to another person who is going to solve that problem. But if you solve the problem you become champion. Kwa hiyo anza kuchunguza matatizo gani yako hapa chuo. Anza kuchunguza. Nilikuwa naongea na wanafunzi wa secondary nikawaambia it doesn't matter uwe secondary uwe primary you can start business right there you are moja ya matatizo ambayo yana matatizo ambayo yako kwenye vyuo au kwenye madarasa ni upotevu wa peni unajua ndio kipao kinachopotea kuliko vifaa vyote sio hivi ni watu wangapi washakuomba peni na ngo peni yako ni azime hata hapa saizi nilikuwa nataka kuandika nikawa sina peni nataka niombe ya jamaa kingaona naye yuko serious Ndio maana ukienda benki zinafungwa na kamba usiondoke nayo. Maana wanajua zinapotea sana. Kwa hiyo wewe unaweza ukawa darasani kwako pale ni mkodishaji peni maarufu sana. Hiyo tu ingeweza kukutoa, hiyo. Kwa hiyo ukinunua hununui peni moja, unanunua peni mia, unaweka kibox kile unawekeza. Nakupa tu business idea haraka haraka. Lakini unakuwa na fomu yako kama hii. Jina namba ya simu na huyo mtu anajulikana anatoka wapi ni darasa la ngapi na huku mshoni kuna signature na signature isiwe moja ziwe tatu moja ya kwako moja ya kwake na nyingine ya class lab maana anaweza kugeuka unamkodishia ile speni akikuwa bana naomba peni akwambia ah, sasa nakupa peni ila ikirudi irudi na shilingi hamsini isirudi bure yes ndio capitalism inamfanya you don't buy things for your own self you buy one for you and one for hiring that's how you create value. Na kuambia very shortly itajulikana chuo kizima. Ukipoteza peni mtu wa kwanza kumfata joni maana anazo za kukodisha. <laughs> Sasa tatizo, what is killing us as academicians is ego. Hebu sema ego. Sa, mimi, mimi na na degree yangu nianze kukodisha peni ruvanda vipi? Lakini ngoja nikwambie, mimi nilipokuwa chuo kikuu nilikuwa nauza chips brand. Hebu sema chips nilikuwa nauza chips nilikuwa nauza maji kwenye matamasha mnafahamu tafes tafes iko hapa mimi nilikuwa rais wa tafes lakini ikitokea matamasha ya injiri i'm flipping eggs literally sasa wakija rais na wewe huko naambia sasa hapa urais unaweka pembeni sasa ni hapa kazi tu nisema unataka sahani ngapi walikuwa wananicheka sasa rais gani bwana wewe unaanza kukanga chips la yangu lakini they don't know i was developing my business skills Today they are looking for jobs and I have my own company. Hello? The same skills. Wakati wengine walikuwa wanakimbia kuandaa matamasha, si ndio tulikuwa tunayaandaa. Kuandaa si mikutano, si nini conference tulikuwa tunafanya. Leo hii kampuni yangu <laughs> inachokifanya ni event planning and management hicho tu. Hello? Si mnanielewa wa Tanzania? Nimejaribu kuongea kwa kiwango cha chini kabisa ili twende pamoja. Maana wa Tanzania pia wanakasumba. Ukiongea vya juu sana nasema hivyo vya juu. Sasa twende vya chini ili ukose cha kusingizia. Ili siku ya hukumu Mwenyezi Mungu akuletee hii video ujieleze sasa pale. Kwa nini ndugu yangu ulipoteza muda? Because the biology says for you to be conceived wakati your father releasing those sperms there were 400 million sperms zilipotea zilikufa wakati wanakimbilia lile yai la mama yako alafu wewe peke yako sperm inayoitwa wewe ndio uliweza kuwashinda wote ukaingia kwenye ile yai kwa hiyo which means you were born a winner from the moment of your conception alafu 
unakuja hapa unanusanusa tu hewa upo upo chuo chenyewe cheti chenja kufoji yani upo upo tu uliingilia hapa cheti cha mwenzako basi tu ukanusanusa ukamaliza degree sasa hewa umekuja hapa ndio mtaalamu wa kilimo tukikupa kazi yenyewe uwezi kweli siku ya mwisho taeleza nini sasa mbele za Mwenyezi Mungu Hello the moment you were conceived God almighty was looking I need that guy this guy this is a man wengine utakafungwa wow. na ule mlango wa yai ukifungwa hamna mtu anaweza kuufungua ni kama vile enzi ya safina Mwenyezi Mungu alifunga ule mlango hakuna mtu mwingine anaweza kufungua ili wewe uwe protected u show up na haijalishi mamako alibakwa au ilikuwa ndoa ya, ya mitaala ndoa ya mkeka ndoa ya halali haijalishi the fact you were born there was a greatness within you and you are supposed to manifest kuna vipaji ambavyo dunia hii tunavihitaji usipovitumia wewe wote tunasafa hello that's why i'm saying you need to think beyond sasa quickly as i'm concluding first i say volunteer no first i say think beyond employment that starts from your mind secondly i say volunteer somewhere show up through volunteerism ndo unaweza kuonyesha value yako kama Joel alikuwa anasema ndo unaweza develop skills but thirdly i want you to quickly start developing these skills ukiwa hapa chuoni usubiri kwa umemaliza sasa skills kwenye ile divine imeziongea sita lakini kwa sababu ya muda siwezi kuziongea zote so probably nitaangalia kama ni mbili au tatu ya kwanza lazima ujifunze pamoja na zile nne jole alizojifunza alizokuambia ongezea na hizi nyingine unatakiwa kuongezea skill ni skill jinsi ya kuuza sales skills lazima ujifunze kuuza kuuza ndugu zangu ni skill and all skills are learnable kila skill unaweza kujifunza uweze ukasema sisi kwenye uko wetu hatukua tunauza vitu utakufa maskini you are supposed to learn how to sell unfortunately can i tell you something difficult in this world there are two kinds of people they are sellers and they are buyers which one are you kila siku unapoenda kununua unapoenda kufanya transaction yoyote jua kuna mtu ana lose na mwingine ana gain you don't want to be a losing person anymore make sure you learn to sell something mimi i want i don't have a problem if you come unaweza kaanza kuuza ubuyu i have no problem kama unaweza kaanza kuuza karanga i have no problem issue tu ni kwamba ukianza kuuza karanga pawepo na tofauti kati ya msomi na asiyesoma that's my concern kwa hiyo ukiuza karanga leo ziweke na branding kidogo packaging yako iwe tofauti iwe na jina linaloeleweka sio karanga tu unaweza kaandika karanga mubashara hiyo tu nakwambia jina jina linauza kuna mtu anaitwa Jack Ma the founder of Alibaba he's a chinese billionaire anasema one of the principles to help you be successful in the business is to have a good name just have a good name mimi nakwambia utauza karanga zinalimwa dodoma lakini unaweza kuzipeka tena dodoma kwa uzia I'm telling you. Kwani tunafanywaje na wazungu? Tunalima pamba wenyewe. Tunawapelekea. Wanatutengenezea shati, wanatuuzia tena pamba. Hiyo hiyo. Kwa tafuta. Nilikuwa kule Arusha nikawafundisha. Dada mmoja akaanza kutengeneza karanga. Akawa anaweka kwenye vi vi, vi, vi kompo, vile vinaitwa nini? Vi glass vya transparent vya plastic. Akaweka na jina na namba zake za simu. Ichikuisha lazima utampigia simu anauza karanga kuliko kawaida na ni mtaalamu wa wasibu unajua muuza karanga ni mjanja sana kule dar es salaam kuna uza karanga akifika anakuonjesha tu hujamwambia chochote ila zikishaanza kukolea na ukatema bigiji kwa karanga za kuonjeshwa utamuita tena kuuzia ni ubunifu tu na anayefanya hivi hajamaliza chuo kikuu Hello The problem is not to start small. The problem is who you become by doing what you're doing. It's not about what you're doing, it's about who you become. Dadangu ukauza leo karanga, wakakucheka, wakatakataa kununua karanga zako, you will no longer be the same person. The problem is wasomi tunataka kuanzia pakubwa. Wanakujaga pale watu ofisini, Rwanda, nataka 
na business proposal ya milioni 500 hapa hicho kipiga bingo hii mbona maisha yameshabadilika namwambia show me a plan of 5 million first because Mwenyezi Mungu anasema katika kitabu chake aliye mwaminifu kwa machache atakupa mengi aliye nacho anafanya nini anaongezewa asiye nacho atakile kidogo anamnyang'anya sasa wewe huna hata chakuza hata karanga uuzi ndugu yangu atachukua kila kitu you must learn how to sell now selling is a skill you don't just sell you need to learn hello i don't have time you need to buy a dvd another skill that you need to develop very quickly usubiri mpaka umaliza chuo ukiwa hapa hapa ni customer service hebu sema customer service tatizo sio kuwa na biashara tatizo unamhudumiaje mteja yule mteja aweze kurudi tena mara ya pili changamoto tuliyonayo kwa wajasiriamali wa Tanzania ni uwezo wa kumrudisha mteja kwa mara ya pili Watanzania wengi wanafungua biashara lakini kana kwamba vile zile biashara tumewalazimisha Unaenda dukani kwa mtu amefungua duka mwenyewe unaingia amenuna kisa amegombana na mume wake mimi naniuhusu nini Why are you penalizing me Namwambia mama hii shingapi kwani wewe uoni bei hapo Ah mama nauliza eh imeandikwa hapo watu wengine bwana Why would you talk to me like that Unaingia dukani kwa mtu anachezea simu. Anaangalia shilawado. Ana post nani ana nimesikia listi ya vyeti fake imetoka. Hebu tuangalie ni akina nani. Inakuhusu nini wewe? Hello? Sasa ni wa, hii ni lugha nyingine ya mjasiri ya mali. Kwa you need to start from now onwards developing customer service. Now, customer service is an attitude. Ni attitude tu. Unavomtreat rafiki yako hapa shuleni ndivyo utakavomtreat mteja wako akija dukani. Ndio maana nasema hizi skills inabidi ujifunze ukiwa shuleni. Hello? Kwa hiyo jifunze kunetweke hapa hapa. Kwa hudumia, kwa sikiliza watu. Rafiki yako akija msikilize. Pay attention. Jifunze hata kumsalimia mtu kwa kumwangalia mkononi, machoni. Mshike mtu mkono unapomsalimia. Ndio bwana vipi ndugu yangu? Uko vizuri? Mwa leo unaonekana una uzuri rafiki yako atakupa maelezo msikilize try to see if you can solve the problem lakini kuna wale wanaitwa vipanga mnawajua vipanga kwa songo ni begi na begi yake ni yeye library anakwenda anarudi haongei na mtu anapiga pale vyombo utasoma sawa utakuwa na makaratasi mengi sana utayatafuta utayapata lakini kuna makaratasi yana rangi nyekundu lazima na yenye ujio jinsi ya kuyatafuta so what i want you to encourage because we don't have time Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's called Tony Inspirational Talk. And the same the website is called also Tony Inspirational Talk.com. Kwenye Facebook pia the same. And please you can also buy the DVDs. I think they can talk to you. I have like six more business skills that I wanted to share with you but time is not with me. And I believe few years from now you will remember this day. You remember this lecture and say Luvanda enjoy the day that you came to our university that's the day that it transformed my life thank you for coming and thank you for sharing you guys have been awesome thank you so much god bless you Nakupenda kwa moyo wote Nchi yangu Tanzania Jina lako nitamu sana